Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com. Please remember to support us at support3gm.com. Gary has a question regarding his system and also um, whether he should go with hard drives in a RAID 0 configuration or um, solid state drives or a couple of those um, in a RAID 0. What I would personally go with and what I have gone with, if you want to save a few bucks, now if you have tons of money, go with these solid state drives because they will be faster overall. But what I went with was a couple of Western Digital uh, Velociraptor hard drives, and uh, those in a RAID 0 configuration really perform exceptionally well. Um, so that's what I would go with there. Again, solid state drives are extremely expensive and the capacities are low. Um, now, you're, you also listed your computer system. I have a few comments on that. You're going with an, a Core i7-975. Uh, you could probably go with a, a cheaper CPU and overclock of the 920. The board is great. You got, you're going with an EVGA X58 classified board, uh, going with 6 gigabytes of Corsair memory. I could also just suggest going with uh, Crucial memory. You're going with three EVGA GTX uh, 285 2 gigabyte uh, video cards. Um, that's wonderful. Um, you could also go with two GTX 295s. That's what I that's what I did. You are also adding an EVGA 9800 GTX for physics. That's fine. Um, Creative uh, X5 Sound Blaster, uh, that's okay. You could also consider um, a Zentech. Um, they have some sound cards. Um, you're going with a Silverstone two, uh, 1200 watt power supply, that's okay. You can also consider the Enermax uh, Revolution um, 85 plus power supply, the, um, the uh, I think it's uh, 1050 watt model, and that's the model that uh, actually I'm using as well. A Western Digital Drive for backup, the one terabyte is fine, and the rest of it's uh, it's okay. You're going with a custom water cooling as well. So there you have it. That's my opinions on on that. <laughs> I hope this answers your question, and keep your questions coming.